close to the end of the backlog of Batgirls. Um, I thought so, but the thing is, since I've started this series on terrific non-TV toys, and even terrific TV toys crossing over to the other collectible series too, um, since I started it, they've been multiplying a little bit, and this is one of the new additions that lengthened the run of the backlog of Batgirl series. This is a multiverse Batgirl action figure, and this is from McFarlane Toys, and this was snagged at a Target store in July 2020, so just a few months ago as of shoot time. This was purchased for $25.00. And it's part of a set. Um, let's go right to that point on the back. Um, you can see where it says collect them all. There's a Nightwing. There's um, Batman Who Laughs, I think is what they call that ghoulish interpretation. And there's Batgirl. So there's three in this particular set. And when you purchase them, you get a piece of the Batmobile. I know I got some raging glare coming on the plastic of this packaging because <laughs> I'm using artificial lighting today instead of natural lighting which I do prefer. Um, you've got a piece of the Batmobile in here and um, you collect all three to put together the Batmobile. So there's three parts and this looks like numero uno. So this is Batgirl Multiverse she's called. She's also called um, Art of the Crime. And you see this very nice image, and if you kind of tell, it's glossy on top of the matte box, which is a really nice effect. Um, this is actually from the comics, and I have been collecting the Batgirl Rebirth comics, <laughs> and I gotta fill a couple gaps here. I've got, I think, a couple missing issues in between, and I'm then I'm up to issue 46 on the back side, which is not the latest issue. Um, with the pandemic and everything, I haven't been able to go to a comic store very recently. But this is a new line of Batgirl, sort of a redesigned Batgirl, and she was launched in September 2016 with issue number one of the Rebirth series. But if you look in these issues that have been going very recently, you'll find issue number 27, which looks familiar when you compare her to the back of the box. So this image on the back of the box is straight out of issue 27, Art of the Crime. You can see it says here, for this Batgirl Rebirth line. And you can see what her look is, too. Um, her costuming did change just a bit. One thing you can notice about her costuming, and we've talked about costuming a Batgirl in previous episodes of both Terrific Non-TV Toys and Terrific TV Toys, but the one thing that you might notice right away about this costume is that there's no cowl, right? There's a mask, and then there, she's got little bat ears but she doesn't have her head covered. She's got more of her hair exposed. And it wasn't that way at the beginning of the series. At the beginning of the series, she had her cowl on. So that was the sort of an evolution that happened during this Rebirth series that they've had, that DC Comics has had recently for Batgirl. Um, so... Number 27 there, we can see the inspiration. Let's get these out of the way so we can concentrate on the matter at hand. Um, so yeah, you're looking at the back of the box. It says each figure comes with a collectible trading card too, which is nice. And then you've got the verbiage that credits the source of the image, number 27, from 2018 that issue number 27 is. So you've got the logo, social media handle for McFarlane Toys. Todd McFarlane, you may recall, um, back in the 1980s, made a name for himself in the comic book industry. Um, Spider-Man comics, for one thing, that he was doing, working on. And um, very young age, just in his 20s, making a name for himself. And then branched out from there, quite the entrepreneur, <laughs> if I said that correctly, with not only a lot of toys, a lot of collectibles in the collectibles market, 
market, but also in the entertainment world. He's done film production, as I'm sure you know, and Spawn. Spawn is one major um, license to come to mind um, as far as his work in the entertainment field and in the toy field, too. And I think, my perception, I really haven't owned any McFarlane toys before this that I can recall anyways. Um, not many, if any at all. But my perception of McFarlane toys is just very detailed, especially when you take a look at the Spawn um, figures and toys that have been out, collectibles over the years, um, highly detailed. And so we'll see how this Batgirl measures up to that perception. After we take a look at the box, all sides, um, 22 moving parts. Hmm, 22 moving parts. And we've got the McFarlane Toys logo there. On the bottom, some verbiage. And a number here, made in China, barcode, etc. Okay, so this is an out of the box experience. So we need to remove that taping. See if we can get this girl free so that she can join a lot of other Batgirl figures in the BRB TV Batcave downstairs as part of my collection. Let's slide her out of the box this way. And I see where there's the trading card. Does that come out? Hmm. Yeah, I'll take this out too and I see a stand. Okay, Boy, I've got a lot of glare. I'm trying to keep an eye on how this is looking on the camera screen, and hopefully I won't be picking up too much of this glare. Um, let's see if I can first of all, yeah, we're just going to do it that way and slide the card out. I am not going to keep the packaging in this case. Okay, so here it is, issue number 27's image, Art of the Crime. And then on the back, you've got what's called a data file. Talking about the source, the issue of the comics, real name, Barbara Gordon. Height, 5 foot 9 inch. Weight, 140. <laughs> okay. Um, by day, Barbara Gordon is the bookish daughter of the Gotham City Police Commissioner Jim Gordon. By night, Barbara dons a cape and cowl as Batgirl, committed to justice like her father. While her utility belt is equipped with batarangs and other crime-fighting gadgets, her greatest tools are her brilliant mind and her unwavering determination. Batgirl is an expert martial artist and gymnast trained in part by Batman, who's extremely athletic and agile. Her eidetic, eidetic memory, heightened intelligence, and advanced knowledge of computers makes her a natural leader and skilled crime fighter. Okay, so very nice training card. And let me see then if I can pry this guy up. Oops, and try not to bump the camera too many thousands of times. <laughs> I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, okay. oh, I think I got the plastic lifted up with the use, careful use of the knife. So I lifted up a corner there and we've got this stand out. Just a simple stand with a peg on it. It does have a subtle DC logo there. And then on the bottom, nothing. All right. Batgirl has a tool or two. Looks like a batarang, right? Kind of soft, rubbery approach. And it's in the process of being shot, it looks like. And then I'm going to cut these plastic little ties here. Do I need to cut something else? Yeah, on her feet, I see. Her. Okay, great. She does come out. Wow. Toes. Very articulated toes. Interesting. Huh. Okay. And ankles. 
and we've got the knee action. We do have a lot of articulation in this figure. Okay, and let me see, bending elbows and wrist, pivot, swivels. And we've got our cape is sort of softer than the rest of the vinyl or plastic. Head moves side to side. And there's Babsy with her mask on. And her hair color, her red hair color is pretty muted. Pretty um, low key as far as coloring goes. Yeah. You can see her outfit true to what you see in the comics. She's even got her backpack on. And interesting. Okay. I wonder if I can get her to stand up. And actually, this battering looks like it will go in one of her hands, you think? Yeah, there we go. We got it to fit there. Okay. And she's got a hole in each of her feet on the bottom, so you can put either foot on that peg for her stand. Let's set her up like that for the moment. Okay. And we got a couple of the things here in the packaging. This battering. You know what, this is not a batarang, right? This is like a grappling gun. Yeah, I misspoke on that. This is the batarang, which is a little tricky. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so you can place that in the hand as well. Okay, and back onto the stand. Girl! Okay, and then we've got the Batmobile piece, which is secured by another one of those plastic stringy type gizmos, for lack of a better term. Okay, I think that was it, just the one. So they encourage you to buy all three figures by providing you with one third of a Batmobile. <laughs> You can see how it's going to fit together with the other two pieces. Huh. Got a texture tires. Set of tires that turn in very just simple hard plastic. For that, okay. Batgirl Art of the Crime, based on the Rebirth comic series, specifically issue number 27. Nice figure to add to my collection by McFarland Toys, released in 2020. All right, well, thank you very much for watching, and we are rounding out a quite interesting year here at BRB TV, the year 2020, and we are looking ahead to 2021 for good things, we really hope. <laughs> And I know I've got a ton of stuff queued up for both of the collectible series going into the new year. So keep it tuned right here, and we will see you on the other side of New Year's.